Hello students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Imran Khatri, Associate Professor, Department of Entomology, Sindh Agriculture University, Chandrajam. We are going through the series of uh, insect orders. Now today we will cover insect order Orthoptera. Order Orthoptera includes grasshoppers, crickets, and allies. Members of the order Orthoptera are found at nearly all latitudes. Though they are primarily tropical insects as judged by species diversity, which is greatest in warm areas. Most are known for their well-developed hind legs and jumping abilities. Many orthopterans are noteworthy because they sing, particularly at night. Orthopterans, or at least the grasshoppers and locusts, are often considered synonymous with plugs due to the devastating damage they inflict during periods of abundance, and they cause swarms. Insects with gradual metamorphosis have the ability to regenerate lost limbs. If a grasshopper loses an antennae or a leg as a young nymph, like this, the missing appendages is regrown in part at the next mold. Here it is. Orthoptera have biting, chewing mouth parts and cause damage by biting off pieces of leaves, stems, flowers, roots, etc. Most damage caused by orthoptera is through direct consumption of the plant, not by vectoring diseases. Damage is often easily visible with resembles damaged stems, leaves, flowers, roots. In fact, they are omnivorous. Now Zhang described orthopteran species total number 24,481. Now it is divided into two suborders, Ancifera and Califera. Ancifera or the longhorn grasshoppers and Califera or the shorthorn grasshoppers. This is uh, clear. As for example, you can see here, this is longhorn grasshopper, they have long antennae and this is shorthorn grasshopper, it has short antennae. Now this is the classification of Arthoptera to suborders Ancifera and Califera, but we will cover here the most important uh, families and subfamilies related with the agriculture. Now, Ancifera consists of catheters, long horn grasshoppers. It, it covers three families, Tetigonidae, Grylidae, and Grylotalpidae. Now, first, Tetigonidae, we see here, Copiforini, it consists of cone-headed grasshoppers, Phenopterini, false catheters, Pseudophyllini, true catheters, Dectycini, shield-backed grasshoppers, and Mormon crickets. Now, Grylidae. So, Grylidae consists of three subfamilies Grylini, house crickets, and field crickets, Oikanthini, tree crickets, Nemobini, ground crickets, and other Grylotalpidae, mole crickets, very common. Now, Califera. Now, here we have two families. Tratridididae, pygmy grasshoppers, and Aquididae, short-horned grasshoppers. Now, Aquididae again divided into two subfamilies, Romaliini, luber grasshoppers, Sertacantha, Crydini, spur-throated grasshoppers. Now, this is the general structure of the orthoptera. The body is divided into three regions, head, thorax, and abdomen, and three pairs of legs. Now, how to identify orthoptera? Hind legs modified for jumping, enlarged hind femur, 
two pairs of wings that are held folded over the back also known as tagmina large pronotum biting chewing mouth parts now we will cover economically important orthopteran families four families acridiidae tetigonidae gryliidae and gryliotalpidae the name orthoptera means straight winged and refers to the thick in front wings or tagmina the front wings bear numerous vanes and function more for protection than as an aid for flight the front wings often are pigmented with a color or pattern that provides camouflage sometimes the front wings are quite broad and modified to resemble leaves the hind wings usually are broader folded like a fan and though sometimes brightly colored often are unpigmented the wings even if short are often involved in sound production species inhibiting open desert and grasslands tend to be strong flyers those inhabiting woodlands island and mountain tops tend to be flightless in a few taxa the second pair of wings is absent in several groups including many crickets katydids and pygmy grasshoppers the front wings are shorter than hind wings orthoptera are hemimetabolous their life cycle consists of three phases egg multiple in stars and adult simple metamorphosis is common name for this life cycle the matures tend to look like miniature versions of the adult insect orders with this life cycle are grouped under the term exoterygota because of visible wing birds on the immatures mature and immature orthoptera may use the same food source first through fifth in stars and adult grasshoppers note that only the adult has fully formed wings all immatures have wing birds you can see here i can show you these all have wing birds here second third this four fifth only this one the final stage it has the fully wings so it is the adult